So, that exhibit's done, and I like it. It's pretty cool. Kind of did some of the same uh, stuff for the Cayman exhibit for this little kind of wetland area for the swimming for the Barrett's Tape here. Um, yeah, I tried again to make it, I've said it in other videos, but I like to have the foliage kind of low in front, high in back. <laughs> With the South American trees, it's hard to kind of get a nice uh, closed canopy kind of feel because they're all so tall and narrow and all of the height or all of the width is way up high. So, uh, yeah, tried to focus on making it look nice from the front. So where, from, you know, where guests are viewing it from. So some of it feels pretty open, but I guess that's fine. And I guess with the short grass, it really feels kind of blank, so... You know, like the tortoise exhibit might spice it up later, but... Had this big kind of open area, because I kind of wanted it to seem like a riverbank. Yeah, filled it out with bushes, lots of rhubarb. And yeah. Again, it's very big, a very big habitat. I know guests are not going to like seeing it, but I like making the exhibits for the animals, first and foremost. You know, tapirs always seem to get stressed, so... Yeah, this, this seems like a nice view, you know, for hanging out by the water. I would definitely give guests a good view. Uh, but yeah, I like I like the view of it from this angle upwards With that slope not too steep, but adds some difference in elevation and the trees and that again low to high We're here the building probably gonna do a little bit more maybe later, but Here's like the little indoor viewing area for them and my signature glass roofs over at the viewing area with the, uh, what's it called, with the speaker. Then the backstage area, you know, all was bland. <laughs> but here, where the guests can see. Now I saw a really good post on the subreddit that had like a really nice, like, back area for a rhino exhibit. And it looked like a real zoo, but <laughs> I'm not quite there yet with my building. But yeah, I like the landscape. Might add some more undergrowth because it still feels pretty empty. I like what I did here with the flowers around the roots of the tree. Yeah, so I'll probably add some more plants kind of in this area to kind of fill out the undergrowth. Oh, uh, yeah. I think that will about do it. Let's do it. Like, it's funny. The Baird's Tapir does not count as an aquatic animal. You know, even though they're a tapir. And they spend a lot of time swimming. So I couldn't put any of the aquatic plants. I mean, I could, but it would reduce welfare and yada yada. So that's a nice view of the kind of forest. I don't know how people get it. <laughs> I look at habitats on the subreddit and see how they build out nice foliage and stuff, but I'll figure it out. You know, I'm gonna keep making these videos, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.